The URI football team has decided to stay in the CAA. A high level of competition, lucky for head coach Joe Trainer, he's got a local product developing into one of the top signal callers in the FCS. J.P. Smallins has more. <laughs> He took over URI's starting quarterback job midway through his sophomore season, and Warwick's Bob Benson responded, completing 59% of his passes, the fourth highest percentage in school history, for over 1,100 yards and nine touchdowns, earning two wins in Rhodey's final five games. Well, he came in here uh, a couple years ago, very accomplished um, guy that we thought was going to be a good player uh, down the road. Uh, but I, I, I think he's got the potential to be not just a good player, I think he's got the potential to be a great player. He's a, he's a football junkie, he, he's a sponge, uh, he truly lives the game, you know, and uh, when you get that from your quarterback, that, that affects, you know, the, the entire team and certainly the entire offense. And the aerial ability similar to what he showed at Warwick Vets, where he threw for over 6,600 yards in three seasons, and a little historic, Benson becoming the first Rhode Islander to line up under center for Rhodey in almost 20 years. Uh, you know, it means a lot. A lot of people are obviously close, and they can get down and see the games. And uh, you know, growing up, you want to represent your state. And I think uh, you know, before I came here, the best chance I had to do that was in the Rhode Island All Star game, and obviously that didn't turn out too well. But uh, I think being the quarterback down at University of Rhode Island was great. You know. Uh, People are excited to come down, and uh, it's, it's good to go back home and see how people are excited about the program. Now locked in as number one on the depth chart, Benson is hoping to help his team improve on last year's 3-8 and eight mark. And in the toughest conference in the FCS, the former All-Staters leadership may be just as important as his numbers. You know, you get in the huddle, you got to be a leader because you're getting in the huddle on, on fourth and five or you need six yards and there's ten guys looking at you not to just make a play but pull your 111th and, you know, get in their head and know, make them know that they can do it as well. So I, I think just trying to set a good example and do the right thing and uh, come out here and work as hard as I can. He's got a strong arm. He's got a good feel for the game. But really, you know, that's, that's not going to be enough to lead us to a championship. He's got great leadership. He's got a moxie about him. He's got the respect of everybody because everyone knows how hard he works offensively and defensively and uh, he just uh, he's a winner you know and, and uh, he's the type of guy that you want you know you want in your huddle and when you're when he's in your huddle you feel comfortable about your opportunity to win a football game with him there. In Kingston I'm JP Smallins Eyewitness Sports.